So we talked before about how when we compute similarity, we're viewing the ratings as different segments. And so if we had two segments that were pointing in virtually opposite directions, we would assume that they're very dissimilar. So for instance, if our graph looks something like this, and we have one segment going up and the other segment going down the other way, then these the angle would be very close to 180 degrees, and therefore we would assume that they're very dissimilar. But that requires us to have some of these rating values be less than zero. But how is that possible when our rating scale is between 1 and 5? Well, it turns out that we're not actually going to compute similarity on the ratings themselves. We're actually going to compute it on the error that we got when we made the baseline predictor. And by error, I mean for each rating, we take that rating's value and we subtract the baseline value prediction. And the result is shown in the table at the right over here. And so, for instance, if we have user A in movie 1, we see that the value is 0.37. And what that indicates, this value would have had to have been 0.37 higher for us to have zero error. On the other hand, if we take user D in movie 4, we see that that error is negative 0.5, and therefore the baseline predictor was too high by 0.5, and we would have needed to lower it down by that much in order to have zero prediction error. So let's illustrate a few similarity calculations using this logic. First, let's take movies 1 and 2. The first thing we have to do is we have to figure out which users have rated both of those movies because those are the only ones that we can use in the calculation of similarity because we need two different references, one for each movie. So the two users here, there's only two of them, are B and F. We see that B is rated movies 1 and 2 and F has also rated movies 1 and 2. On the other hand, we can't use E because E has not rated movie 2 and we can't use D because D's rating of movie 2 is part of the test set, which we're not using here, since we're just training our predictor. And so, running through the equation we have for cosine similarity, we basically take the product of B1 and B2, and then we add the product of F1 and F2. So it gives us B's relative ratings of the two movies, and F's relative ratings of the two movies. And then we divide by the sum of the squares of the ratings for movie 1 and the sum of the squares of the ratings for movie 2. But it's important to realize that we're only using the values for B and F in these calculations and not any of the other users. So the cosine is equal to negative 0.3 times 0.17 plus and then for f we have negative 0 0.05 times negative 0.58. And then we divide by the length of movie 1, which is 0.3 squared plus 0.5 squared, negative 0.3 squared plus negative 0 0.05 squared, times that for movie 2, which is 0.17 squared plus 0.58. Well, negative 0.58 squared is just 0.58 squared. And when we do this calculation out, on the numerator we get negative 0 0.0. When we do this calculation out, on the numerator we get negative 0 0.0220. And on the bottom we get 0 0.3041 times 0 0.6044. And that comes out to be negative 0 0.11. And if you remember, the cosine is between negative 1 and 1. And we either want values that are very close to plus 1 or very close to minus 1. And negative 0.1 is, on the other hand, very close to 0 which indicates that these movies are not very similar 
or very dissimilar. So therefore, they're not very correlated. On the other hand, we can try calculation for movies three and five. First, we find which users have rated both movies. Turns out to be users A, B, and D. And as before, we take the products of their relative ratings. A3 times A5 plus B3 times B5 plus D3 times D5 on the top. We can write that out. We have negative 1 times negative 0.43 plus 0.25 times negative 0.1 plus 0.25 times negative 0.1 again. It turns out that these two ratings are actually the same. And we divide that by the length of the movies, which now is going to have three values in each case. So we have the square root of 1 squared plus 0.25 squared plus 0.25 squared times the square root of 0.43 squared plus 0.1 squared plus 0.1 squared. And this comes out to be 0 0.79. And so now again, since the cosines between negative 1 and 1, we see that 0.79 is very positive, so it's it's close to plus one. So we seem that these movies seem to be correlated. So they seem positively correlated. We can make similar computations for the rest of the cosine values across the movies, and the result is shown in this table over here, where we show the similarities of movie in the rows to the other movie in the column. And this table is symmetric because the similarity between 1 and 3, for instance, is the same as the similarity between 3 and 1. So if we reverse the rows in the columns, we'll always get the same value, and that's what we mean by symmetric. And so in this case, we're actually going to choose one similarity value for each movie. And so we're going to choose one nearest neighbor. And obviously the nearest neighbor that we want to choose is the one that has the highest value. So if we go along the columns for each of these movies and we, we go down these columns and find the respective row that has the highest similarity rating. Remember we're talking about highest in magnitude because it can either be close to plus one or close to minus one. We still have uh, useful. So for movie one, the closest is actually movie three. For movie two, we have a perfect correlation with movie four. Or a perfect negative correlation to be exact. For movie three, the closest is movie one, just like movie one's was movie three. And for movie four, we have two as being closest again with the similarity of negative one. And for five, we choose two as being the most important. But notice that while well, five chooses two, two does not choose five. Instead, two actually chooses four. So movies may not choose each other necessarily to be their neighbors, because it's possible for them to have a similarity with another movie that's higher, even for the other one that is not the case.